It's so nice to speak to you both about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I know that you've heard this a bunch of times already, but it really is a love letter to Hollywood and mm. movie making and, and movies in general. Mm -hmm. At one point, a double feature is mentioned about Leonardo DiCaprio's character's films. And I wondered, looking back at your careers, if someone was going to watch a double feature of any of your films, which ones would you want to choose? Wow. Mm. Do we have to pick it? I may go for a triple or... Can you go triple Is that a little vein of me? It is, isn't it? No. I feel like you will sit for 10 hours. you have the filmography that you have, I think you can... There's some Fincher films in there. There's some Tarantino. There's some Guy Ritchie. There's, you know... If we can build it up for my, for me personally, can you do True Romance, Snatch, and uh, Burn After Reading? Okay, and some Cohen. I think we should do, we could do a De David Ayer double feature. We should, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Suicide Squad Fury. Yeah. There's a, a moment with your character in this where she goes to the cinema and the checkout person doesn't recognize her from the film. Kind of wanted to flip that. Do you guys remember the weirdest place that you have been recognized, yes. like out in public? Well, the most uncomfortable is certainly at a urinal. I always wonder like, if guys chat when they're standing next to each other at a urinal. I prefer not to. Yeah, because yeah. like... Maybe it's a little Larry David of me. I prefer not to. Yeah. But when they go, hey, you're... Yeah, you that's what hands? I think, the handshake. Is like, I goes, how do you goes too far. That? I go, sorry, sorry, bud. Well, do you if take someone both talks, hands? That's yeah. dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Because <I'm laughs> if someone Disaster. talks, then no, it's like, not gonna do happen. I be polite and answer? Because if someone starts the conversation, you're not going to be like... Shut it down, but at the urinal. Yeah, yeah. I think you have the right to. I think it's you. The one I think place you shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> See, we don't have this problem. What about you? Where's the weirdest place you've been recognised? Um, I was in Lapland in a, like buying groceries, and I had probably two square inches of my skin visible because it was minus you know forty degrees or something. Like maybe that much showing. I had scarves, everything. And someone came up, and there, it was a Finnish person was like, "Oh, Margot Robbie," and I was like, "How?" How on earth do you, <laughs> did you know that? Wow, that's kind of scary. It, yeah, it was really bizarre. Wow. Mm. There is a, I'm going to make a weird point here, so go with me. There is a moment where your character um, tries some dog food on yeah. a, out of curiosity. Yeah. And I always think that there are some things that you're like curious to try, mm. but you know that you shouldn't. Yeah. Do you have something that you've always been like, ooh, if I could and no one would know? For me, it's bubble bath. Like, what, like I would eating? try. <laughs> Like you like try I'm, eating it? Yeah, like I'm just curious. Th Can you think what it would be? I think there's a show about this strange obsessions. <laughs> yeah, like people who yeah. eat sponges. Yes. Yeah. Or cat hair or something. Can you think what yours would took be? the most unusual turn. Yeah. Yeah. Or, um, or there, there was the boy who was in love with his car. Oh. Yeah, I remember. I yeah, so I, I put shampoo in, in that. Um, do you, you got one? Well, I did. I remember I did try dog food when I, it was a dare when I was like a kid. Someone dared me to eat it. I did that. Like yeah. wet or dry? Um, I think it was a dry. It was a dry dog biscuit. Yeah, done a right. dog biscuit. Yeah. I don't know why. There's nothing. Yeah. Wrong Another with thing we have in common. <laughs> yeah, so much. You're common. learning so much about each other. <laughs> we both eat dog food. We what know. was actually <laughs> the dog food that you were trying? I'm assuming it was dog it was, food. Was it actually oh, in yeah. a scene? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. What did it taste like? Vienna sausages. Yum. Yeah. So you really are ticking off that list anyway. Mm. So yeah. many things in this yeah. film that you get to do. Big, um, fat, <laughs> big chunks of gristle in it. Ew. Yeah. How many takes was that that you had to do? I don't, I don't know. That may have been a one-off that he stuck in there. <laughs> You're like, I will only do one take of this. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, improv, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, there are some fun techniques in this where Quentin kind of uh, makes old films and recreates and splices people into old films. Is there a film that you would love to be spliced into, given a chance. Oh, yes. Really? Oh. Any film? Oh Any my film. god, that's hard. Yeah, that's so hard. It's a great question. That is one of those I ones that I think is a good question, and then actually if it was turned on me, I'd be like, I have no, no idea. I, I immediately went to Last Tango. What does that say about me? What's Last Tango? Last Tango in Paris. I haven't seen it. Oh, my friend. we got to catch you up okay. on that. Adding it to the Brando. list. Oh, okay. It's going to hurt. That one hurts. Mm -hmm. I guess I would love to be um, maybe somewhere shooting somewhere very tropical. That'd be nice. You're going location. Yeah, Smart. I'd like to go location. Smart. I've never... I like that you think of location first yeah. before, like... It's been on my yeah. mind Just... lately. I've, yeah, I, yeah, I need to start picking my next gigs based on... Wise choice. You should be like Dwayne The Rock Johnson and just be like, I will only shoot in Hawaii. Right? <laughs> yeah. I know. Clever man. Well played. <laughs> He's really cracked it. Yeah. He's cracked this whole game. 
Um, well, thank you so much and congratulations right. on no my time in Hollywood. Thank you.